viewers, today we will be taking a look at how uranium-235 is made. Uranium-235 is used in nuclear power plants and nuclear bombs. Uranium is relatively easy to find, but only a very small percentage, about 0.72%, is uranium-235. The rest is uranium-238, which is useless for this purpose. Most reactors need this percentage to be between 3.5 and 5%. To get there, we need an enrichment process. This enrichment process simply increases the ratio of uranium-235 to uranium-238. It doesn't convert the 238 to 235, but simply removes more 238 than 235 from the mixture, leaving a higher percentage of 235 in the end product. To enrich the uranium, it is turned from uranium oxide into uranium hexafluoride, which is a gas. This gas is then put into an ultracentrifuge, which separates the lighter gas with uranium-235 in it from the heavier gas with uranium-238 in it. This separation is far from perfect, but it does at least remove more of the 238 than 235. Once this is done, the remaining uranium hexafluoride is converted into uranium dioxide, which is solid again. This uranium dioxide is pressed to form small fuel pellets, which are then heated to make them ceramic. The pellets are then inserted into thin tubes to form fuel rods, which are used in the core of a nuclear power plant. A power plant uses between 20,000 and 80,000 of these fuel rods, depending on the reactor type. Hope you've learned something today, and I'll see you next time.